Okay, so this is the program I got. I'm going to cut out a couple flanges. Uh, some parts are nested within parts. Uh, there's small bolt holes and perimeter cutting. So there is some torch lockout and there's some where it's in auto mode and, and monitoring the cut while it's going. So I'm cutting 10 gauge steel. So I'm set a Hypertherm PowerMax 65 at 45 amps. And then I have the AVHC set up. Uh, you probably can't read it, but it's set to 75 volts. It's in auto mode. I do have a small switch that I've run parallel to the corner lockout. So right now it's in, it's in auto mode. If I flip the switch, it'll keep it in manual and it'll lock it out. Um, in this case, I've already run this part, so I already know I can run an auto without a problem. This is kind of my rule of thumb with everything. So some guidelines and stuff, just in case I forget, because I do so many different things that I just don't want to forget. So kind of idiot proof stuff there for me. So let's uh, run it. So and while it's jogging over, uh, the lockout, <clears throat> so there's a, the little wall ward on the bottom is what turns on the, the corner lockout on and off, and then the top is for the plate marker. So it's cutting some bolt holes right now. And you can see that green light. That's the corner lockout turning on and off. So for four bolt holes, the corner lockout is on. And now, it's in auto mode. So that was perfect timing to have the air compressor kick in, but basically that wall ward controls the, the corner lockout relay. So when you see that light turn on, that means it's not monitoring the arc voltage while it's cutting. So that only happens for bolt holes or any female features that I've defined. So in this case, okay, so I'm going to cut the next part, which it is a, a part nested within a part. So it's going to monitor the voltage while it's cutting. So that is an example of bolt holes. So I just did the perimeter of that part and it cut with in auto mode and now it's doing bolt holes that it'll cut with it locked out. So see this is the next bolt. And the last one. And now it'll cut the inside. And this is in auto mode. So see how it's off? And now it'll cut the outside of the part in auto mode. So I hope that gives you an idea of how it works. It's, it's pretty slick.